Hi, my name is Aria Dean. I'm here at ISA London for my exhibition, Abattoir. It always had to be a film. I mean, it's thinking about architecture and its concerns are kind of sculptural in a way, even the process of making it. It's actually kind of sculptural because it's made in Unreal Engine, this like video game engine. This wonderful developer and artist, uh, Philip Caustic, built it. The image in Unreal Engine unfolds onto the lens, but we're not capturing real time and space. It's creation of time and space. It's a recording of a performance in a virtual world. For me, it was always an experiment um, about cinema and subjectivity and identification. And I've been really interested in materialist film for a long time and structural film. Cinema that doesn't require the sort of um, conceptual apparatus, or doesn't rely on the conceptual apparatus that popular cinema has um, in a sort of like actually structural way, not just like changing what kinds of stories cinema is telling, but like at really questioning the whole like way that we've constructed um, the moving image. We talked a lot about kind of like Hollywood melodrama film music. We talked about um, like horror film music and then kind of the genres that maybe relate a little bit. Like I ended up referencing some like grindcore and gore grind stuff as it related to kind of like gore and flesh and death in a, I think, related way. I think there's an there's interest in understanding, you know, how like death, subjugation, et cetera, has undergirds so much, so many of the structures that um, we think we require or that we might actually require um, to live or for our world to continue to, to keep spinning. I think through a series of, of different avenues, like for everything from Mark Fisher to um, Achille Mbembe. You know, it's not just biopower or biopolitics, it's actually necropower. Necropolitics, like the right and the power to kill and to say not who likes to live, but who has to die. And so I think this project is, yeah, I think it's, it's involved in, in that kind of framework. Um, and I think the slaughterhouse is illustrative of that, not just in terms of the fact that we, you know, in Bataille's configuration of it, we need to kill animals to render ourselves human and, and you know, keep it away from us to, to keep civil society going. But also, um, you know, the slaughterhouse as a model, like arch both architectural and conceptual and procedural for how that work has to be done in other ways and other locations to you know, perpetuate the project of, of modernity and or modernism, architecturally speaking. And I think the 19th century and industrialization is a pivot point in that process. In most installations that I do, or many of them, I like to try to do something that kind of doubles the space. So if it's a film installation, yeah, like you watch the film in something that in some way looks and feels like the space of, of the actual um, film, whether it's narrative or not. I was thinking about the design of the system as kind of a compositional element and like the spatialization and the way that sounds move around the space. I think it kind of fit into the idea of creating an installation that mimicked aspects of the video. So to kind of like bring it and confuse the viewership and positionality of the viewer. I think the project was also always preoccupied with, but this question of virtuality and violence and trauma and what is real to us. So this idea that, you know, we're not seeing any violence play out in the film, but we know that this is a violent process. It's a process that ends in death, but we're watching that in a, not, in a space that isn't real. It's not happening at all. And if it were in, in this context, it wouldn't be happening to a real animal. What is real like to you as a body and as a subject? Um, and I think that the, the point in some ways is also to press that button for viewers and, and not like proclaim that it is or isn't, but you know, give people a sort of laboratory in some ways that they're figuring out some of those questions. The second part of the show, the vitrine room, in some ways is like the work that is most directly related to my like 
conceptual thinking that's come out of Abattoir, making a little bit of a gesture towards the context of the UK, yeah, histories of enclosure, histories of colonialism. The vitrine room situation kind of mimics and almost mocks, I guess, historical display in like a museum where you'd see like little like, you know, objects from whatever um, civilization, but continues to look at things structurally and it's like all about containers and, and not about the material that's kind of being transferred back and forth. Um, the text in the, in the vitrines is a way of like bringing the f feeling of a body back into because that's what's missing from the film um, in a very conscious way and an intentional way. And the wall text, instead of detailing, um, you know, real information about what you're seeing, it dresses itself as information, but it's a poem. And the poem is about attitudes towards history. I think I'd like people, um, audience members, to walk in as themselves. The hope is that they don't feel so certain about who or what they are when they come out of it. Thank you.